Hey all, Vintage Composer back with you. You've probably watched, hopefully you've watched last year, uh, some videos I did of my collection of autographed magazines and autographed baseballs. I have another one coming up with some TTMs through various sports. And I've had the honor of meeting a lot of the great, great players of the game, including Stan Musial, Carl Yastrzemski, Whitey Ford, Mike Schmidt, Hank Aaron. But boy, the one guy that I totally fanboyed in front of when getting his autograph was Dale Murphy. He's one of the solid great players of the late 70s and throughout the decade of the 80s. Uh, one of those guys with a bunch of great numbers, kind of under the radar. Um, had a solid, respectable career. Didn't get into any trouble, didn't hear anything bad about him. And I just felt that he deserved a lot more love when it came to Hall of Fame voting. And I told him such, and so I was a big fan of his. But boy, <laughs> I just really couldn't control myself when meeting him. A uh, very, very tall individual, broad shoulders, um, warm, uh, very complimentary to, to me, uh, saying all the things I said to him. And uh, it goes without saying, another favorite of mine to collect. Uh, he won back-to-back -back MVPs in the National League in 82 and 83. Helped lead the Braves to a, a division in 82. Was a seven-time All-Star, five-time Gold Glove Award winner, four-time Silver Slugger, and put up 398 career home runs. His is a career you should go back and check out the numbers and check out highlights. Had some, some amazing um, defensive stops in the outfield as well. So here we go. His rookie card is 1977. We're going to start here with 1979 tops. 79, 80, and 81 tops at the top. In the middle of the road is 81 Donruss Fleer in 82. And at the bottom is 82 Fleer Donruss and 83 Fleer. Lots of baby blue in his uniforms throughout the 80s. We see his 83 tops, tops all star, send away glossy. His 83 Donruss Diamond Kings, his base card from 83. His 84 Donruss, great looking set there. And his 84 tops, tops all star, and tops send away glossy. Pretty basic stuff through the 80s. 84 Fleer, 85 Tops, and 85 Tops Glossy Send-Ins at the top. Middle row is his 85 Fleer, Donruss, and 86 Donruss. And at the bottom is 86 Tops Base, All-Star, and League Leaders, also known as the Minis. Here's his 86 Fleer. The card in the middle is 87 Donruss from the bottom of the wax box panel. And his regular 87 Donruss. That's the 87 Topps Tiffany. I haven't gotten a base card for my PC just yet. 87 Fleer Limited Edition from the box set in the middle and 87 Fleer. 1988 Baseball Card Magazine uh, insert. Signing an autograph at the All-Star Game in Oakland. Looking like a 1981 Fleer card. Dale made an amazing catch in right field off the bat of Mark McGuire in the 87 All-Star Game. Helping to send that game into extra innings. 88 Donruss and Donruss MVP insert finishes off this page. We go from a lot of blue to a lot of white. 88 tops, tops team leaders. With Dion James, Ken Griffey Sr. and Gerald Perry. 88 league leaders, another mini card. 88 score in the middle. With Keith Hernandez as part of the Superstar Special from 88 Fleer, entitled NL All-Stars, and is 88 Fleer Base. And at the bottom, 88 Fleer Sluggers versus Pitchers, 89 Upper Deck Team Checklist, and his regular issue of Upper Deck. There was a reverse negative, which is very rare, and was and still is highly sought after. Uh, I'm not sure if that was an actual mistake or if it was just something that Upper Deck did to create a buzz and get people to buy more of the product when it first came out. Here's his 89 Donruss, Tops, and Fleer. The middle row was his 89 score, 89 Bowman, and 90 upper deck. Then 90 Fleer players of the decade, 90 Fleer base, and 90 score. Top row is 90 Donruss, 90 Tops, and really a shock in 91 when we heard that he was going to the Philadelphia Phillies. It wasn't gonna be a brave for the rest of his career. And 91 was the first year in Phillies uniform, his Fleer up top. In the middle row is his 91 Donruss Series 2, a image with Lenny Dykstra entitled Dr. Dirt and Mr. Clean, gritty nails and clean-cut Murphy. 
and 91 score. And on the bottom row is his 91 upper deck tops and 92 tops. 93 tops, 93 upper deck community heroes. And he wasn't going to stay Philly the rest of his career either. He went to the Colorado Rockies for a cup of coffee, about a year, year and a half, and shown here on his 93 Fleer Ultra. I don't know how much stuff there is of him in the mid-90s, so we skip all the way to 2001 with Topps Archives, showing what his 77 rookie would look like if it was just a single-player card. And then his final Topps card, as shown in the upper left, with 93. 2001 Topps American Pie, 2000 Upper Deck, a decade of the 70s, a rookie 70s flashback. It's a neat looking set. 2005 Tops Pristine Legends, The Legendary Years. And 2008 Tops Triple Threads, numbered out of 1350. So besides a couple of oddball stuff that I noticed, I could probably pick up. I think he had an 87 League Leaders. Uh, there's still the 78 Tops, some Opichi, and any card from 90 ish to 2000 I'm definitely going to look into and pick up a few along the way I'll let you know what I grab when I do the Murph Dale Murphy one of the greats in Atlanta Braves history one of my faves and hopefully one of yours thanks for watching we'll see you soon